Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to Vichelitz. I'm gonna hope I'm just pronouncing it right, but a point-and-click interesting indie horror game that looked like it drew a lot of inspiration from, like, the classic kind of point-and-click games, like the, what was it, the Dark series? What was it called? I can't remember the last series I played that was point-and-click from, like, Newgrounds. It reminded me a bit about that. It looked interesting, so I thought to give it a try. Ooh, stage one and two. Yeah, let's give it a try. Uh, interactions. Shoot. Research. Look 90 degrees forward, back, cut. Ooh. Type, insert a disc. Exposure meter. Rotating, moving, and researching while being watched by the entity will increase your exposure. If the meter reaches 100%, you will die. Moving around, not rotating, while not being watched will decrease your level. Wait. Moving around, but that does include rotating. And while not being watched, will decrease the level of exposure. If the lights are on, exposure will be... will both increase and decrease more than usual. If the lights are on. Encountering the entity, if the entity gets damaged from a bullet, it will get scared and run away every time someone opens fire in his direction. You have a 50% chance of finding ammunition in the drawers and 80% uh, in ammo boxes each time you research. Interesting. You wake up in an unfamiliar environment. Seems like there's a lot possibly going for this game. Hmm. Hell yeah. Oh, and a search bar. That reminds me of, like, Impossible Mission. There's an old series on MS-DOS and... MS-DOS? An Amiga called Impossible Mission. Not to be confused with Mission Impossible with uh, Tom Cruise, but Impossible Mission 1 and 2. I, I remember my days of playing Impossible Mission 2, rather. Where it's like you'd have to search portraits, beds, assets, objects to find hacks and abilities and things. Found a bullet. But how do we... Oh, we cancel too. Interesting. Well, wait, I don't know if we have a gun. But the searching mechanic... Interesting. But if we get exposed or it comes close to our room, how does it work, I wonder? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So if we move it away... I'm not sure... Yeah, not another bullet, whatever. We found the key to get out of the room, but then, probably then, the entity will have a capability. Okay, good. So it, it, it has a limitation and it lets us know. That's good. 90 degrees. We can't search that. Oh. We'll search the trash can. A note. Weak spot is in the body. Interesting. Good to know, good to know. We can search the trash can again! Oh. So maybe it's like it doesn't depend on where we click on the wardrobe, it's just we can search it, yeah, the X amount of times. In the trash can we can search three times, with a chance of getting bullets, or nothing. We got a note which is maybe mandatory, but... Oh, okay. Oh. How many times can we search, then? There's a chance to find something, but we just failed, I guess. Or maybe we can't. Please enter the dip. Oh, look at that. Cool. Okay, I don't think we can... We can only put things in, or search. I was thinking it would be like the trash can in the wardrobe where... Cool. Very cool. This is, like, really nice and complex. That's probably the entity. Exposure's not going up. Is that the entity? Honestly, who the fuck knows? But, uh... Yeah. Let's just keep the light off, because the thing said, with the light on... Oh, it is. We are getting exposure. Yep. Uh-oh. Can we close the door? No, nah, didn't want to do that. 
No. No. I don't know if we start with a gun. Damn it. Okay, we're going to have to do that again. Let me do a little skip ahead. Search the room. I don't know if then we should try turning on the lights. Fuck. Unfortunately, the searching takes so long, though. But it just means having to play very carefully. All right, similarly, we got three bullets again. And uh, the key and the note. So let's try this again. I don't know if the entity will just be sitting there again. If so, then we should just, like, leave. Uh-oh. No. Just leave the room. No. Hmm. Because we don't have a gun to shoot it with. I'm gonna just get the key and, like, leave the room and test things. I, I'm already sure they said that being in the light is bad. Like, you don't want to be in the light, because then you're just more visible to it. But we have to, like, not be so visible. Alright, so we ran away from the thing. I don't know if it's going to just leave from staring at me at the goddamn window, but we can't, like, move back and forth. Ah, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, what? What was that? Oh, pistol! Now I can shoot the fucker! Okay. Good. Oh. Fuck you. Man. So that's how you then start this game. You need to immediately go to the right room. Wait. Wait. Yeah, that is how you start the game then. It's definitely a high difficulty. Like, I wanted to stop my recording and reread my main menu, but due to how borderless Windows works with a game that hijacks the screen and full screen, it kind of fucks with things. But okay, I remember what, like, that there's a 50% chance to get ammo in random things, 80% if you're in ammo cache. That you should have the lights off so you're not as visible. But it looks like the tutorial of the game more or less instructs and demands that if you're not wanting to die, compass now. I also have one less bullet in this playthrough, so that's bad enough. But, um, we're gonna have to move back and forth to reduce the exposure in this hallway, since rotation doesn't count. God damn it. So let's see. And the window, I don't know if you'd be able to shoot him, but if we go back, and then rotate, rotate, yeah, that'll rot- it'll- yeah. This pacing is for the better. At least for now. But if he starts showing up again, I don't think he'll be behind the window next time, though. He did run off, it looks like. His blood trail, yeah. We have another bullet to shoot him with, but he's going to be hiding from us for however long it takes. Is that interesting enough? The ambience and everything in this game is really nice, top-notch. Like modern shit that I'd expect and want. We're not going in that room because that's clearly where he's at. Nice. And if he is in a room with us... You know what? Can we... We can't close the door behind us. I hope he can't just enter the room, but if he does, that means we have to turn around until we find his location and then shoot him. But we desperately need more, need more bullets. And it's definitely not this... I was going to say they're clumps of Kleenexes, but... A silver key. The other door was blocked, so I don't think that's a key for that door we were trying to investigate. Come on, more bullets, please. There's 50% chance, but my RNG in this run has been completely pathetic. Okay, one. Mostly an empty room, though. I'll try the door just in case. That's not a good sound. Yeah, fuck you. Get out of here. No exposure. Oh, it was for that room. Just the ammo. Hey, give me the ammo. It looks like I can shoot him through the window. That's pretty funny. Oh, I can search an infinite amount of times. Wait, what? Isn't that just hacking? Wait, found nothing. 
It's an 80% chance every single time. So why wouldn't I just keep doing this? It, it, why infinite? Isn't that just cheating? Mmm, 80% chance and it's infinite. Why, why? Is that like just maybe developer mode and they forgot to turn it off? No. I mean, he can keep lurking at me, but I'll get six bullets in color today. Because exposure will mean more than uh, ammo count. Because we can just keep coming back here unless... Unless they... Hm? No! He's getting aggressive! I don't know if it's actually hurting him, though. It's just shooting the glass and maybe scaring him. Huh. Should have a DVD in here, then. But I'm very tr intrigued in this. Like, this is a, a more robust point-and-click game than I would have expected. I highly doubt there'll be two DVDs in here. But... No. Interesting. Huh. Interesting indeed. I think we'll need power. Well, we have the DVD. Mm. He's definitely, definitely, definitely to the right. Fuck you! Get out of here! Let's search Emma while we can. Yeah, let's say twice. Then we'll have to move on, use the DVD. It's just a, kind of a pain that he just peeks through the damn windows every time. Alright, so, DVD in. One north, two south. Okay, we're writing that down, I guess. I'm going to presume it's not talking about pressing the button once, pressing the button twice, but it's like first, second, third, fourth, rather. Okay. I'll take the DVD back out for collection purposes. May as well. Why not? Ah, I see. Alright, so it was... First is north, so boop. And then... South. Then east. And then west. Alright, good. Now they should open the gate. Left, 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 left. Spooky. We have four bullets, so we should be fine. A ladder. Hmm? Someone hit me in the back of the head with a pipe? No! They're stealing my items! Presumably. There's a strange odor in the air. Click here to look up. What? Hello, player. Um... Oh. Uh, hello? I'm impressed you made it this far. Who are you? My name is... Vichelitz. Ah, so he's... He found a list. I time tool king rose brain sight clock globe. Ah, uh, what? You can't move. There's a rope around your neck. 
I'm the one who repurposed this place and gave it a meaning. Let's play a game of Hangman. You win, you get to live. Explain the rules. I pick a random word and draw a number of dashes, each one representing a letter. If you guess a letter that occurs in my word, I fill in the blanks with that letter. If you fail to guess a letter too many times, the chair you're sitting on will drop down. Causing you to die from spine damage. Eh, I'm sure saying let me out of here is not going to do anything, so let's get started. Begin. It's a four-letter word. Oh, well, that's merciful then, because all the... I mean, it's just, there's like this very little choices. I mean, a lot of them have ease. I mean, this, this should be hard to fail. It's just got to be time, tool, king, or rose. So if we hit E and it's neither of them, that means it's tool or king. Okay, so, yeah, E. No E. Easy. We had to pick, like, it, we only can f apparently pick wrong so many times, so honestly, the uh, most obvious thing is also then to pick O. Because if it's O... Man, now we know it's king. Okay, king. Um, I don't think there's a... Oh. Oh, never mind. There's mo it's not three times you fail. God damn it. Okay, um... I think the logical thing for this situation is there's an I and two of them. It's a five letter word. So it has to be six, seven, eight, nine. But there's a lot of them though. I guess we'll do E first. Oh, and E is the fourth letter. It has to be paper. A four-letter word again. Rose. Can you even lose this game? This is easy. Are you, are you perplexed? Are you unhappy? Coming out of the TV, even. Uh, initiate execution! Escape. No one escapes. Uh, I found a knife. Ah! No cancelling! Uh. Yeet. Yeet. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for playing! Hey! Result time... Movements. Shots fired. Guessing accuracy... 0.8. Alright, but no, that was then... Oh, wait, wait. I'm gonna assume that was the whole game then. Not like that there's a sequel that is stage 2, but that was part 2 of the game. No, but uh, it was a short game. But definitely really nice and thorough. Um, definitely really good quality. Like, it's it's been a while that I haven't played a point and click that isn't... How would I say boring? Like, a lot of times a point and click games to me feels like a nostalgia porn. Where it's like, there's nothing innovative. There's nothing cool in terms of modern mechanics or things that enhance the game. It's just sort of like a click everything... Uh, click everything to collect everything, even if thing like things that don't seem like, to stand out. You know, things that you'd expect from the MS DOS period, and a lot of it is just not really innovative. But in this game, there's a lot of cool things going on, like a lot of stuff that just made it a really interesting game. Uh, both the exposure, I mean, the bullets just like, the bullets. In Infinite ammo became a little bit silly, but at the same time, as soon as you figured out. Um, how to stop it, it stopped being a threat. My only hope would be a game like this to be expanded upon, but where it is akin to survival horror. 
where you don't have the means of killing it and you have to escape from it and use a larger map, like let's say like a Resident Evil kind of mansion, and you have to escape from it stalking you like Nemesis kind of thing, and it will constantly hound you to try to kill you and peek through windows, peek from ceiling like holes, peek from the floor, and try to get more and more exposure on you as time moves on. But since we were limited to a very tiny hallway with limited movement, it just felt like it was a really short game, but in terms of like, the mechanics made in this game, if it was just simply used in a larger game or larger sized game, like a sequel to this, then that would be really damn cool. I could see a, a game like being a lot more like larger in size, like this being a really cool project. Um, but for being like the short project that it was and it being packed with like the search mechanics, all that stuff is already like created. I'm not sure in terms of like the complexity and the development with something like this, if it were just like get all the mechanics you have already, the searching, the, uh, I don't know, the searching, the map, the style, the exposure system, everything in this game, but just amplify it, make it a larger project. Um, that'd be just so cool, but I don't know, let me know your thoughts if you agree or disagree. It'll be a pain in the ass editing this, because the only thing I would suggest is that I'm not sure if it's possible to explain it, but it's just like... It's... The game is in a very tiny resolution, and if I make it full screen, how at least my webcam software works is if I minimize a game that hijacks full screen, it will turn on and off my webcam uh, with my specific software, which is UCAM9, and it basically turns it on and off and it makes it so anything I was recording gets corrupted or it stops recording while the software itself isn't technically stopped. It's like I can see like a, a countdown for instance and it will flicker on and off but the countdown will keep going but nothing's going to be recording. So if I don't notice the webcam turned on and off in these situations and I keep talking to the microphone like I am, it's not actually recording it. And I can lose a lot of footage that way if I don't notice the webcam flickers on and off. So it's like, if the game is naturally when you do choose between full screen, if, just for future reference, make it borderless full screen. Because toggle full screen in these kind of games, this this kind of app, it just hijacks the screen and it fucks with my recording. I don't know, F like borderless full screen is just the most beautiful thing, but I use borderless, what is it? I use an app called uh, borderless gaming to try to fix that, but it's like when the game uh, went back to the main screen, it, it kind of fucked up very uh, briefly and I had to stop my webcam footage and then start it again which is just be an editing nightmare but for our gamers for non-youtubers non-streamers it's not a problem i'm for sure but it's just for me and me complaining and saying hey this is a problem for me and borderless full screen is just the most beautiful thing you can do but either way that's just a, a little mini rant so people can understand hey the pains of recording certain software that likes to hijack the full screen and for whatever reason, fuck with my webcam. It's it's very unfortunate. But game-wise, no, I loved it. It's fun, it's great. It didn't make me get bored, which is usually a problem with point-and-click games. The monster was cool. There's always the looming threat of them existing, except for, you know, window moments. And as soon as I got the gun and the bullets, it became, you know, the... I became basically a one-man army at that rate. So if the game was expanded upon, but made it so you were not weaponized and it was focused where like half the game maybe you're trying to look for a weapon and you're running away from this thing constantly that'd be a really cool experience to me but anyway hey if you agree again or disagree let me know in the comments below what you thought about the game if you liked please leave a like <laughs> if you enjoyed please leave a like hit that comment wait god damn i'm getting messed up now my my, my flow's gone if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.